Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Friday, May 27th and a very warm summer-like pattern right down through the weekend with the chance of thunderstorms. Now the best bet is going to be uh, during the uh, late afternoon and evening hours over the next couple of days and then Sunday a cold front will move through and that could bring some stronger, more concentrated storms through. Right now we expect about a half inch to an inch with locally more in and near thunderstorms. And then we'll cool off just a little bit early next week and dry out as that cold front moves through Sunday night. And we could possibly see dry conditions through Tuesday night and then maybe some more uh, showers and thunderstorms as we get towards midweek. Now the uh, European model is quicker with the next cold front and could bring more storms in as early as uh, Monday night and then push them out of the area for later Tuesday where the GFS would have the uh, uh, system being quite a bit slower and would bring us dry and mild conditions. Uh, right on through Wednesday before the storms would move in Wednesday into Thursday. So we'll have to see which model is correct on that. I like the slower solution, so I think we'll have a dry period from Sunday night through Tuesday, and then storms either late Tuesday night or Wednesday as that next cold front approaches. Again, temperatures are going to be in the 80s during the weekend with lots of uh, muggy conditions with dew points well through the 60s. And then I think from next week we should see pleasant temperatures as uh, it looks like we'll climb into the 70s to around 80 with a little bit lower uh, dew point and humidities. So again, a pretty summer-like weekend. You can see uh, as, as we uh, look at the next slide here, you can see across the Great Lakes, temperatures mainly in the 60s across the southern part of the state, 50s off to the north, and warm 60s across the lake in Wisconsin. If we look at the uh, soil conditions from around MAC, again, soil temperatures very warm in the 60s, so good growing conditions there, but the surface uh, moisture very, very dry. And of course, when you get sunshine and uh, very dry topsoils, you can uh, get temperatures in the 80s, even 90s. If you ever walk through a field and you're barefoot on a sunny uh, summer day, you can see it can be pretty hot on your feet. So not surprising you see temperatures, and that just makes things even drier and starts to penetrate down to the lower levels. And you can see our uh, soil conditions still very favorable at the 8-inch uh, level, but they have been on the rise across uh, many of the areas. If we look at the uh, growing degree day accumulations, you can see we're really tacking on some pretty good numbers here over the last several days and we'll continue right through next week as we uh, again can do, continue to see, uh, I think, conditions near to above normal uh, here over the next seven days. As far as graphic format, you can see the rapid rise in our growing degree day accumulations over the last five days and that'll continue through the weekend. And if we look at the individual locations, you can see uh, the southern sections actually having the latest plant dates at 50% this year. The northern areas uh, are getting on schedule despite even there being about two weeks behind last year and about three weeks behind in the southern areas. And you can see Breckenridge as well um, will be on the rise and uh, we're in pretty good shape. I don't think that's going to be an issue this summer uh, as far as growing degree day wise. Again, it's always going to be come down to, I think, uh, timely moisture and avoiding prolonged dry periods. And if we get into our northern areas, you can see much closer to last year. But again, despite being a couple weeks later in the planning and the way going great shape there. If we look at the uh, next slide, you can see the radar showing the showers and thunder showers off to our southwest. These should dissipate here this morning, but then they'll refire, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. And if we look at the uh, next slide, you can see the weather forecast map for this morning. We're going to see low pressure uh, systems continue to track from the southern plains off towards Minnesota and western Lake Superior, and that'll keep us in a warm, muggy air. Finally, though, when we get the last system to come through later Sunday, that'll allow the cold front then to push through Sunday night. If we look at the forecast map for Saturday morning, you can see a couple more low-pressure systems yet to go as they move towards the uh, northern uh, upper Midwest, and you can see that's the area that we expect the heaviest precipitation from around the uh, Minnesota area, the upper Mississippi River Valley area down into Texas. And if we look at the uh, forecast map for Sunday morning, that last low pressure system now near Lake Superior, that's going to allow high pressure in this cold front to drive through the area Sunday night, bring us at least a period of drier air for early next week before more rain moves in towards midweek. And over the next seven days, you can see the WPC forecasting the heaviest precipitation off to our west, but still around a half inch to an inch, maybe a little bit more in and around thunderstorms. So again, this will be a pretty beneficial range for much of the area, so hopefully we do pick up a half inch to an inch as it's been quite dry around here as of late. And if we look at the uh, extended outlook here in the 8 to 14 day outlook, we're going to get a shot of colder air that's going to hang around for about a week or so as we see uh, troughing develop over the U.S., but then I think we're going to flip that pattern in week three and week four and we'll warm up again as we get into the mid and late part of June. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day, a great weekend, and 73s to all.